going to start doing a diorama now uh, based on uh, the tank battles in Normandy and I'm trying uh, with some polystyrene here to make what will become the wall of an old church and uh, this is where I've got so far just gluing a few pieces of polystyrene together and chipping away a few bits to make it look like a church wall uh, when I've uh, coated this in polyfiller I'll then uh, carry on adding a few more bits to it and see how we go first time I've ever done this so I'm hoping it's going to be an interesting project but we'll see Right, we've uh, starting to plan out the diorama now. So I've got my uh, Panzer IV tank, and then hiding behind the church wall, I've got my uh, American uh, M5 light tank, ready for making an ambush as it comes down the dirt track. I'll have bushes on this side, over here, <coughs> I'm going to raise this side slightly and then have tall trees, perhaps some more bushes, and then I fork down on the end. We'll have a little graveyard with some old fence, bits of rubble, and then I'll have some men hiding behind there. And uh, yeah, should be quite interesting. This is the uh, church building with the arch door. All that is is just polystyrene bits glued together, and I've covered it all with polyfiller. And my tree is just some um, pieces of uh, plant from outside and um, I've just stripped off the old leaves and then I've got a piece of sponge, the sort you would uh, just use in your kitchen. <laughs> this sort of stuff and just put that through a uh, kitchen blender with a bit of water and then when it's uh, all dried out you're left with this stuff yeah that which is uh, pretty good and then you just dab some glue on your bit of uh, broken twigs and stick you got from your garden and it makes quite a nice little tree so that's going to go down there and hopefully when I put it all together it'll start to come along so that's the progress made so far with that ok I've added a little bit more detail now a few bricks uh, and some uh, little fences there which are just toothpicks stuck in some the story and little bits of an old pizza base here on the edges and a nice little block which is going to be a little ruined part of the church there uh, the next stage is to coat all this in polyfiller and start laying down some grass and some bushes and stuff but uh, yeah I'm quite liking that at the moment fun to do, do dioramas you don't have to be mega precise you can make it up as you go along if you like but uh, yeah, I like this. Right, next stage. We have coated everything in just polyfiller. And when it was still wet, I sprinkled bits of dried, crushed polyfiller onto the ground and then damped them in with a wet brush. Just gives it a nice gritty texture. And I've done a little graveyard over there. They're just little pieces of polystyrene sheeting cut and stuck in polyfiller. Um, added a few little bits around the building and around there. And that's uh, it's getting ready now. But yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. That's looking not too bad. <coughs> just makes you wonder what else you can add to it. That's the fun of doing dioramas. They don't have to be totally planned out you can do them as you go along sometimes as well anyway yeah on to the next bit okay we're back again and um, 
this time what I've done is I've sprayed the whole thing with the airbrush um, with greys and greens and browns and I've just placed in there my uh, tanks which have already been made um, using the same kind of methods that I did in my other video when I did the desert scene and <clears throat> this is well I haven't done <laughs> I haven't made many dioramas so this is kind of experimental for me but for the trees um, what I've done is uh, just got some old dead branches from outside and uh, ground up this uh, spongy foams the sort of stuff you do you're you washing up with put them in a bit of water and blend them through your food blender and then you get all this lovely light spongy material just dry it out in a sieve afterwards and then I stick it onto the branches with little bit blobs of glue and then do it one more time and then just give it a quick spray with the airbrush uh, to a dark green colour to give me the trees and for the on the vines here all that is is uh, a piece of the sort of stuff that you get your oranges and your onions in this kind of material and I've just stuck some PVA glue over it to toughen it up a bit stretched it out painted it and then just glued it onto the um, the archway there and uh, yeah I'm quite pleased with that that looks pretty good this little tree here is same thing with the little bits of sponge glued on but for the ba for the stalk I'm just using a the stalk of a, a bunch of grapes which uh, yeah it makes a, a pretty good tree stalk still learning as I go along and there's my tank this is the Panzer 3 and uh, behind there in the through the archway I've got my other tank which is the US light tank M5A1 <coughs> both tanks are made by Tamiya great kits Tamiya kits and so that's that's the progress that I'm making so far there's the gravestones in that area um, come around this side and see where we're going but the next problem is how to um, make some bushes to to hide things up so what I've done is I've just got a I'll show you here I've just got a piece of foam painted it green broke broke bits off of it it's just this ordinary polystyrene that you get in packages broke some just broke some pieces off painted it green and then I've stuck the um, pieces of sponge that have gone through the blender onto it with some glue and you get that sort of effect and then what I'll do is I'll do the same as I've done with the trees here and just spray it green with the airbrush and um, I'm hoping I don't know if it'll work but I'm hoping that once that's been painted with a few more the same sort of shape it'll give me a bush effect anyway we will see so that's where I am now I'm uh, just going to carry on and see where we get to the next stage right quite a bit of progress being made now I have um, added several more uh, bits of shrubbery and trees uh, I've also added a little brick wall uh, opposite the tank and um, I've put in the tanks that I'd already painted before and, and had done so really this is making a, a diorama for the tanks that I'd already completed uh, like I said using the same methods I used on my other tank uh, but this making a diorama like this this didn't actually cost much to make it all it's just polyfiller some ground up bits of sponge um, just a few bits and bobs I've found around the house really and some very cheap acrylic paints that I got from a cheapo store for about a pound so I hope this will encourage you to have a go yourself if you if you haven't ever had a, a try at making a diorama like I said I've never really uh, I've made a a few little ones but never really attempted anything like this so let's just go in and have a little bit of a closer look here is the uh, the wall this is just uh, again polystyrene with a little bit of glue on top and some 
bits of dried foam coloured and stuck on top to give her the impression of uh, autumn leaves. Uh, then we've got our tank, this is a Panzer uh, IV tank with the crew. The idea is that they're sort of coming along this side road here, but uh, inside the ruins hiding up is the Sherman tank and its crew waiting to ambush them. Over here we have the uh, a little graveyard scene going over here. Again, very simple stuff, just toothpicks for the fencing, uh, a bit of shrubbery I found in the garden stuck in there and the gravestones are just made out of uh, little thinly cut pieces of polystyrene over here for the shrubs uh, this one here again just pieces of sponge the sort of stuff you'd use in your uh, kitchen sink ground up uh, in a blender with a bit of water dried out and then painted and stuck onto a little piece of um, goldenrod plant that's dried up in the winter time that's what it looks like when it's when you get it from the garden so you know pretty simple and effective stuff the bushes are just uh, again polystyrene painted uh, a dark color and then little bits of uh, sponge stuck on them and painted let's just take a take a look at the back part of the diorama uh, again Blocks of polystyrene, the tank crew behind here, and the Sherman, and there they are waiting, loading up their uh, ammunition ready to fire. Uh, and then at the back there, the, the shrubs and the rockery underneath. So there we go. I hope you uh, hope you've enjoyed watching the video. I think I think I'm going to call it a day on this one now. I might uh, just add a few more little bits and bobs to it, but pretty much done for uh, for now not quite sure what my next project will be but this was a, a lot of fun to make and um, like I said if you have, haven't had a go at do this do have a go it's not hard to do and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next video